Hello, so my name is Olivier. I'm a co-founder of uh, uh, Goteo. It goes, uh, maybe I have to do it in mine. Let's see. No, that's, that's not a good one. Can you work on it? Because it goes on its own. And I would have to explain it in, uh, in three minutes uh, instead of 15, which is nice, it's fine with me. All right, I'm the co-founder of Goteo.org. I'm explaining you what it's all about. Uh, basically, it's about like working on an open standards for, for funding and for spe especially for crowdfunding and crowdsourcing. And the open standard is based on a clear commitment from producers to get money from the civic society, public entities, or private entities that can uh, uh, be part of the, ec uh, the, the ecosystem. Is to clearly uh, have a strong commitment with open licensing. Just before you go to production, just let people know that you committed with open licensing and part of your project or the totality of your project will, will have a social impact which is digitally traceable. So if we talk about manual, if we talk about like a, a open data, as an NGO can provide open data, that would be a collective reward. So that's what we're looking for. So we're exclusively trying to sustain and, uh, and find and, and channel funds for open source projects. And for projects which aren't open source, and see an opportunity, a chance to create a community around new niche of, of uh, open businesses. <coughs> and we're talking about manufacturers, designers. You can think about anyone who's got a machine. The machine can be hacked and we can find a new model uh, and a new small business to be built around the hacking of this machine. All right? So we have talked a lot and Sam has done a great job of identifying projects uh, that are based on open source. But we never talk about how do we sustain and how would you create a community to sustain, not only take care about the commons, but also sustaining it by contributing monetary wise or with my skills. So basically, create, uh, basically uh, Goteo is about that. So we're based in Spain, you have to know that. You have to know that. Uh, Goteo is managed by a foundation, which is also something we must say. So it's based on transparency. We produce data, we produce indicators. So it's clearly, uh, uh, our mission is not only to fund projects, it's also to let people know that public money, public stakeholder should also, by default, produce comments, new comments, digital comments under uh, a useful form. So we don't want any PDF. If you're from the third sector, the NGO, and you do social good, well, for Gotel, it's not enough to be funded through Gotel. You have to produce new comments. You have to release your data on the on the open open data format. So if I'm an NGO, I can cross my data with you. But if I'm an, an anthropologist, I also can cross it. If I'm a, a business niche uh, guy, an investor, I can find intrapreneur, intrapreneurs or, or people in NGOs with the capacity of being social entrepreneurs, so, social enterprises. Okay, so. Basically, we're not talking exclusively about money. We're talking about, if you have to keep two concepts, it's the trap and the commons. Let's see what, what, what's left of the concept of money in there. But from the early beginning, one of the, the main mission and the, the, the main uh, uh, characteristic of Buteo is that we need also to identify a value in non-monetary contributions. So for example, that's just an example of a project which is currently crowdfunding Frugotel, this is called a social coin, it's a social enterprise, and it's basically a reviewing, a rebooting of, a, of an old ID, which is a, a chain of favors, and here it, it gets, it's on the other side, you have a QR code, so you can exactly know about the chains of favors, from which hand, and who has got the, 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 the uh, who has had the coin in its hands, the whole story of it, and after an entry exchange, it is planted, so it can't be bought or exchanged, it is planted, it planted it's got a seed on the other side, Right, this is the beginning of a, of a new tree, all right? So this is just an example to, to keep in mind non-monetary contributions, just like helping by my skills, translating a website in the Basque language, which is something which is happening around Goteo, for example. This is a value, okay? And at some point, we have to take our time and say, okay, we have the funding, we have funded projects, but now we want to know how do many new employments on employees have been created through that funding process, all right? So, if we want to take it a little bit back, I think this is the earliest probably slide of the whole WeShare Fest. 
because people are very really well designed to, you know, this is all facing. To be political, it has to be, it has to look nice. I'm not sure. But this is, actually it's not about like the, if, if this lie is, is well designed or not, it's about the content. And we're all agreeing on the content. We don't have even, in, in this context, we don't even have to, to discuss it. So we have the prototype of the first calculating machine from the Roman era, right? And we have the, the, the computer. It's embedded, it gets Linux on it. But these tools have provided us with the capacity of creating communities, creating open hardware, creating solutions for the commons, downloading videos, being inspired by the BitTorrent prototype to create new communities, new tools to, to take collective decisions, for example. So we have these tools in the hands. We can do policy making from the civil society. We can reclaim open data from governments. And this is helping us. But what do you have on the other side? The famous top-down structure. Look at this, you know. I'm in this room. I'm the CEO of this room. Michel, you'd be my advisor. You need, uh, 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 you know. So we have general, we have general production manager in each department. So basically, you know that. I'm not talking about like any public administration. These are universities, companies. I'd like to see in the sharing economy more of new companies which wouldn't follow that, that diagram. And I think 80% of the, the, of the nice startups that are, are born from the sharing economy are totally uh, adopting, the, uh, adopting this model. <coughs> so this is time to rethink about how we, are, we organize. Okay, right now if a social entrepreneur in Spain or wherever would have with the need of 20,000 uh, euros, he would go here, that's the bank, you know, and he would just like leave and fill up a, a formula. No one would tell him if the formula goes up. No one would show him the algorithm that the mathematicians that work for the bank are programmed. You know, to, to just to determine if you uh, you can get the credit or not. And obviously, he would have no contact with the, the rest of the structure. So we, it's pretty clear. We all agree with that, right? We know. We know that. Okay. So. Let's, let's uh, again, it's like the, 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 the time uh, traveling. We go back to the Roman era. If it works, they don't want me to go to the bathroom. Fucking hell, the Roman legion. Come on, we have these tools. And we're still walking this way. So how many, how many you know, sharing economy startups have new structures which doesn't look like this, which are based on, sorry, it's time to create new structure, even if they're microstructures. And this got a DNA, which is here, it's open, and it's the, the, the intention is we're building an open business system which is sustainable. But we open, what does it mean if we take it not in very technical terms? This is not only about like sharing drinks, this is nice, but we have to you know put our hands dirty at some point and make a group and working group and maybe you know work on hardware really. So it's not about sharing drinks, it's about at the end, everybody get the recycling, all right? And we start to, you know, it could be open cola, open solas, let's start something, all right? So what's the, the open DNA we're looking for? Just make it very, very simple. Re I uh, need to be replicable. Please copy me, all right? So this, mean, this doesn't only mean share the code, the software. You know, we have to go behind that, right? We have to go. Again, third sector, social entrepreneurship, methodologies, we have database, we have business plans. We need to share them, okay? We need to be more horizontal. This is very simple, to, it's very easy to say, not easy to really apply. But this is the real thing here. So we don't get back to these structures we have seen before. And that's a very important point. We have to reinforce the comments which means reclaiming the commons that have been, you know, we have lost the idea of that the commons should always be managed by a community, not by public administration, which is the case of the, 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 the commons in Cambridge, for example. No one wants to manage it. Okay, so again, the commons, we need three, three very important things, three legs. The first one, we need a, a resource to share, to be shared. The second one, we need a community who's, a, who's, who's in charge of taking care of it and producing new commons around it. But then we need the rules, rules, government, the rules of governance. So that's basically what Godel does for funding open source projects, which is finding a rule 
which let every people know, every stakeholder, private or public, or simply an entrepreneur, uh, what, the, what are the rules and how it, how it functions. So basically, put it nicely with the drumming, that would be it. So, we're talking about natural common, but we're talking about like the, the, in the last years, in the last two years, we have mentioned a couple of projects. We have open to psychology in the room, for example. There are some great initiatives that have been, that have raised that are very interesting. They call they build digital and partly physical solutions for natural commons. Okay, so earth, water, air, fire. Just a few examples. I go quick, quite fast. The live track from the Open Source Ecology project. All right, we're talking about open hardware, water. This is the open source underwater robot for exploration and navigation. Uh, this is a project from the Fab Lab Barcelona based on Arduino, which is some kind of a weather broadcast distributed, it appears to be a weather broadcast. We have a, a social network of uh, basically citizens that share data on uh, level of pollution, quality of air, etc. And Tata Journalism. For example, this is a project, Spain in Flames, that has been also uh, crowdfunding through Botteo, which is about like the civic society reclaiming and being a lobbyist, a civic lobby. All right, convincing nicely the government that it should release, in that case, the data about the fires, the fires in Spain, which is a big, very big problem, you know? We don't know about how the, how the, the fires are managed. And the citizenship as an intuition, which is like, there is surely a clear relation between forest fires and immobiliary, immobiliary speculation. So at some point, a fire, and two years after, another, another. All right, so we need data. We need data to verify that. We need data. So with that, as a civil society, we have the capacity right now. There's a community, strong community. It's a data cleaner, data analyst, and data journalist. So this is, for example, an investigation that has been funded through Gotel. All right. What's the main, the, the common point of all these projects is that at some, part, at some point they have been trust funded, which means civil society has detected a real value, a real social value around this project, even uh, uh, some uh, projects have been trust on it. So, we have an, ed an educated citizen. Who's that girl? It's probably you, right? All right. I know to help, I need to give money and skills. This is not happening on every street, but I mean, this is the, the picture we have to keep in mind. So, how do I talk with these educated you know, these trained people, this is something we, we talk about, which is learn by funding. So we have all our closed source platforms that have done a great job, just like Kickstarter, that just like a brace with a standard, which is like people identify over. This is popular culture. I can be part of a project. We just say, okay, there's great open source projects on Kickstarter, but we want the whole ecosystem to be open source. All right, by default, you have to think about like your collective returns. So this is how a good deal looks like. It's not very important. The important thing is where we started from. Again, as at the beginning, keep the idea of the trial and the comments. Okay, what do we see right now? Trial funding, the sound of trial funding is some kind of derivating at some point to something what I call trial capitalism, which is basically about like the trial fund, funding of an individual projects, or it could be also community, and then the exchange is, okay, you get the book. You probably pay the book for less than, than the, the price, uh, the, the final price. But these are the trial, are still a multitude of individuals, all right? Why don't we consider that the trial, that these crowdfunding projects are the future entrepreneurs, all right? They should crowdfund back a project tomorrow, or today, and be back tomorrow, okay? They should learn through the process of backing through a crowdfunding platform that they all can also be more open and, and, and build community. How do I build community? Easy, if you're funding a project, you're learning, so the big idea is is crowdfunding compatible with crowd benefits? So we keep the crowd at the beginning of the chain, and at the end of the chain, the, the project has been funded, but we have created crowd benefits. This means even for people who can't help. All right, probably. So keep in mind. So we have done it just as, a, as an interesting thing. I don't know if you're in the Scrum methodology for developing software. We will be fans. But that time, we have done everything totally analogically. So I, I recommend it to people who have, have approached me during the festival and said, uh, how can I develop that thing, whatever? Don't develop, make it, uh, you know, the most analogical, you, you keep with the papers. Uh, this is actually how we, we have built the, the, the model 
of what they are behind it. We have shared with the community the values that we're looking for into projects, what the comments mean, what we have to expect from a project, so just as I give you one of the picture of Goteo, which uh, uh, practically was not existing before Goteo, it's a very simple idea. Ask the project, ask the, the, the entrepreneur to, have, to, have a, to, to let people know what are the costs. Right? Transparency in the costs. And from that, we generate also open data, which is very interesting because we see the real necessities of a project and we can talk to a, a, a public administration and say, look, we have identified that through Goteo, there's a need of a laser cutter, the uh, 200 hours. Something has to be done. We can talk to a fab lab, we can talk to a public entity. But we have to generate this data. So if you just make the effort of letting people know exactly what's the budget and where the money will be spent, we also create a value for everyone. All right? So, this co designing leads us to, all right, we have to rethink this idea of rewards. I'm backing a project and I'm getting the thing. Yeah? We have to start, individual rewards are quite okay to create community. But what is really very, very important is thinking about what? Collective incentives, collective rewards. So, give access to files, which would be the, 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 even the simplest way of opening up a project, all right? Or let people know how I did whatever, which is like basically producing a manual. Everyone can do that. Sharing knowledge and promote learning, educational, educational manuals. Create community and if you go for the uh, most open licenses, allow commercial use uh, of the thing that has been produced. So basically, just I'm not I'm running out of time. Just keep keep it keep it in mind. Again. I repeat, Commons needs a resource, a community, and rules. So basically these are the rules which are the, we call the open source standard for crowdfunding and crowdsourcing. What does a uh, project commit with? Basically it can ask for money, tasks or skills, infrastructure that can be led by public administration or private entity, and material rules. So it's not only about like, hey guys, I need funding, all right? And then you have to establish your rewards. So this is uh, ethical and this is a technological. This is data that are sticked on top of every project in Goteo. All right? And you have to choose if, you, if, you, if your return is on, is on the form of digital archive, a code, manuals, design, you have seen the, C, the open design, products. Again, we have no time to talk about that. But the idea of a product in an open source uh, project, even if we talk about the agroecology uh, uh, project, it's very important that we can associate objects and a price and potentially every open source products can be part of the market. All right, so this is also important to, to make a big effort on that. Services, money, of course we're thinking about equity, equity crowdfunding. And then at the moment that you, you're basically um, doing that formula thing, you have to decide and we help you for that, what's the license that would be applied in each part of the project, All right, on the source code, on the product, on the open source shoes, etc. Okay. Interestingly enough, we have seen we, you're not allowed to change the the the, the, uh, the change rules after you have got the money. So that's why we have foundation. And that's why we have social contracts. And we have contracts with with uh, the the projects. So what has happened is that people have changed licenses to a more open one during the process of production because the community has said, "Well, you should do that more openly." So this is something you, I, I want you to keep, it, to keep in mind. So we're basically opening these channels, and uh, I think we really need a standard, and we're working on a, on a European project right now to, to find standards also to analyze crowdfunding platform statistics under uh, other kind of, of criteria, social impact, for example. All right. So it's not about like how much money did I get; it's how much social impact I created. All right. So thanks a lot for listening.